Okay. So in the morning when you come out, just like you guys used to do on the fuel truck, you're gonna wanna head over to the cellar building there and start Matt, up can the you power. Do that for us. If something's missing or the glass jar is broken, report it to one of the instructors or to us. And do a full walk around. Like, let's take a look on the other side of the tank. Miss Tench was saying that uh, we're probably gonna prop the ladder up on the tires so that in the winter time when it's snowing you can grab it without having to dig your hands into the snow. And all we're looking for really on this side of the tank is that everything's secure, the power is all good, there's no leaks or anything. Should they ever go up onto the tank for any reason? No. If if there's Good. any if there's anything that you guys think that you need to be on the top of the tank for, contact one of us first. You also want to in the morning check your fire extinguisher and make sure that it's in the green. That means that it's charged and ready to go in the event of uh, a fire. So basically the fuel comes from within the tank, it comes out through this port here, into this filter vessel where the fuel is filtered, it follows up, comes through the meter where the meter counts, and then it comes down this line through the nozzle. So if you guys are going to see any leaks, your probable points of leaks are going to be right here right here like anywhere where there's connections and even this valve down here so if you guys do notice any leaks um, please let us know as soon as you can um, there's a whole bunch of regulations on leaks and the earlier we catch it the better because it saves us a ton of paperwork so now we're gonna do our morning test So, I'll give Matt this jar here. And what we've got is we've got this valve here. So basically in the morning when you guys first start your fueling, first fueling of the day, you're gonna open up this valve. The valve is open when it's in line with the piping. So right now the valve is open, meaning that the fuel can come out into this thing. If the valve is closed, you still will get a little bit of fuel, but you'll drain the filter and then you won't have any fuel flow whatsoever. This valve should be opened in the morning for the first fueling of the day and closed at the end of the day. Okay. So down here we've got this little valve and the same thing. If the valve is horizontal, it's not in line. So it's closed right if we were to turn it so that it was in line, then it would be open and we'll get fuel right from this spot here. So I'm going to get you to fill your jar and only put maybe about two inches of fuel in there. That's good. And then we'll put our lid on. like a swirl test. So basically you're gonna swirl the, the fuel. Do you know, 
Remember when you're a little kid and you used to swirl the glass around and it would make that sort of hurricane thing? That's what you want the fuel to do. You want to get a good hurricane going. You just a little bit more moved than that. Come on, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> so see how it sort of thickens down? And when you look, you'll be able to see any water, any dirt, or anything, and that will settle to the bottom always. So you can see with this, there's some sand in the bottom there. Can you see that? So we're going to dump this out. Let's take a look. Can you see it? <laughs> no, but that's okay. <laughs> It's yeah, too fine for the camera. Be able to see it. Okay, so I'll give this back to you, and we'll dump it out. We'll dump it out. So, is that okay if we see sediment in there? It should be. It would, like on this sample, we're seeing a fine amount of sand. Um, we're going to take another sample to clear it up because this point is the filter, right? So, so this is what's supposed to catch all the dirt. So we want to make sure that this filter is as clean as possible so that it can catch as much as it possibly can because you don't want any sediment in water in your So it says that some particulate matter is okay or normal. Mm -hmm. Some meaning a few particles. Yeah, this was basically when we looked when we looked in the bottom of the jar here. We had probably if a, if a quarter was flat, and we replaced that quarter and just put sand there. That's how much sand was in in this jar. So we do want to to resample it because that is a little bit much. Okay. to do our nozzle sample. So to do that, we need our pump on. So you want to just give that pump a flick. And you'll know that the pump is on. A, you can hear it. And B, this pump indicator light turns green. Okay, so we're just going to grab the nozzle here and we'll do a sample from the nozzle. Same thing, just put a couple inches in the jar there. because you did the quality control checks. Okay. okay, so your starting inventory is going to be 999. 
time. Because you started with 10,000, you've taken one liter out and put it in your jar or in your uh, slop drum. So now you only have 9,999 liters left in the tank.